The number of dingo attacks on Fraser Island has risen, with more around because of the breeding season. Rangers say the animals are becoming more brazen on their search for food. But dingo advocates blame a failed management strategy and are calling for change before more dingoes are put down. A risk assessment report has revealed five dingoes were destroyed after 10 physical contact incidents between April and June this year. Just four incidents were reported and only one dingo destroyed in the previous quarter. But dingo advocates fear the wrong animals are being culled. There's problems with tags. Tags get discoloured. They have to look more closely at those animals as to what uh, their markings are. There were 29 aggressive behaviour incidents between April and June compared to 25 the previous quarter. And more dingoes are being sighted at Waddy Point, making it more dangerous. Moderate risk areas include zones between Yurong and Wadi Point and the Mahino and Hook Point. And now dingoes are starting to go into tents while campers are inside. Of great concern is the fact that it's a, it's a hot top order predator on the island. Malcolm Kilpatrick blames Derm's management strategy and says it's up to people to adapt to the increased interaction with dingoes. Those animals were there first, they're their tracks and they put the tents where they are. These visitors on the island today were aware of the dangers and had seen dingoes around, but they didn't feel threatened at all. No, never. No. They seem to wander away from you if you go near them. Just got to be responsible for what you leave about. We can enjoy Fraser Island to the maximum. We can enjoy the dingoes and we can be safe in doing that if we behave in the proper way. Kate Lyman, 7 News.